Mark Winterton and uh, it's a Union High School Sports as the Cougars get ready to take on the North Sam P. Hawks in this first round playoff game. The North Sam P. Hawks, the Cougars played them earlier this year. And uh, there you can see the captains as they went out to do the coin toss. Gage Roberts, Loney Latui, Jerem Miller, and Tavita Kafusi. As the, uh, and then uh, Lincoln Labram as we will get ready to do the national anthem. Beautiful. Mr. Barson, thank you so much. And uh, was Mr. Barson uh, playing his violin there. As the Cougars get ready to take on North Sam Pete in this Wednesday Wednesday afternoon game. Three other games going on today. And so you got to uh, give it up for VTV and broadcasting all four games. Uh, those other three games will start at 7 p.m. tonight. Union Cougars outscored North Sam Pete last time they played 15 to 6 in the final quarter of the game to pull out a win as they beat North Sam Pete 27 to 21. The uh, Hawks coming into this game looking for some redemption. The Cougars, the Cougars actually uh, looking to improve upon that uh, win as as uh, the North Sam Pete actually went uh, winless this year, not getting a win. And of course, that uh, that game was earlier in the year. I think the Cougars' second game of the year. So the Cougars will receive, and uh, the Hawks, of course, will. Uh, get their choice in the second half. What do you say, Cougar fans? Let's get ready to play some football! State right. football! Back to uh, receive for the Cougars. It's Gage Roberts and Burchill. Roberts having a great game. Well, both Burchill and Roberts having a huge game in, against Morgan defensively. Roberts actually was the athlete of the week. Uh, and, and more importantly, off the field, as he carries a 3.8 as a uh, senior. Little pooch kit, kick there by North Sam Pete. And that'll be picked up by Six Miller. Number 56. So the Cougars starting out on their own 39. Taking the field. Your offensive line for the Cougars, Chase Lang. Along with Loney Latui, Tavita Kafusi, Brig Edwards, and then uh, I think that other one was uh, number Dalton Clark. <laughs> yes, that Cougars not going to get much there. Tyler Blackham. Also one on the play number 40, Brock Justison. They're going to give him about a loss of a foot. The loss of a yard goes second and 11. So that'll make it second and 11 for the Cougars. North Sam Pete bringing three down linemen, running a 3-4 defense. Showing some blitz. Hand off to Miller. And that's going to be Miller again. In the middle of that line. Maybe gets back to the original line of scrimmage. Justison on the tackle, also Eddie Davis. So the Cougars now sitting with third and long here. No gainer, third and 11. As two 
plays resulting in nothing. It's Labram in the gun with Miller in the backfield with him. He fakes it to Miller and he keeps it himself. Labram, he's got the first and he's across midfield. Great blocking there by the Cougar lineman. Your receivers uh, for the Cougars out there right now. That's Chase Birchall, Easton Rohr, Caden Hyder, and Gage Roberts. As again, Labor will fake it to Miller, keep it himself. He'll get uh, about six or seven. Get the ball. He's dropped by Spencer Stedman. Stedman with the tackle. He's six yards on the play, brings up second and four. So second and four for the Cougars as they're in Hawks territory. Labrum again in the gun. He'll fake it to L Miller, rolling left. The pass to Rohr is incomplete. Looked like Rohr had it, and as he uh, good good defense there. It looked like that was Stedman. Uh, was that Clawson there on the on the coverage? Clawson with the great coverage there on Roar causes that one to go incomplete. It'll be third and four. In motion, that's Birchall, and they're going to give it to Miller. Miller finding some nice room. He'll get the first. Look like one of the defenders got a hold of the back of his helmet, but he slides off that. And number eight, Lima. And Miller picks up the first down. So down to the Hawks, 36-yard line. Labrum in the gun. He'll roll right. Picking up a nice block from Miller. Throws it over to Roberts. Roberts has got the catch. And another first down, it looks. Well, it's close. He stepped out of bounds there at the 27. We'll see where they mark that. It might be a second and, and a short one. A pickup of nine yards, second and one now for the Cougars. This time the Cougars line up, trips left, and they, they do give them a first. As they'll give to Miller again, Miller. Miller had a man get a hold of his waist, and uh, Miller just keeps his legs pumping, picking up a good six yards. We'll give him six. Six yard pickup. Second and four. So second and four now. As the Cougars threatening to get inside the red zone here. And again, they'll give it to Miller. Miller this time close to a first down and they are in the red zone. Looks like they're gonna mark this just a yard short. So third and one for the Cougars. And they'll uh, go dual receivers to both sides this time. This time he fakes it to Miller. Play action pass. It's complete to Hyder. Hyder inside the 10, and that's going to be another Cougar first down. So we're looking at first and goal for the Cougars. So if you're just Cougars. tuning in, North Sam Pete kicking it to the Cougars. The Cougars uh, taking over on their own 37-yard uh, line. As this one's going to be timeout for the Hawks. And we're going to take a break. Want to recognize, uh, this offensive Some of the most important diagnostic tools in medicine today are in the radiology department. At Ashley Regional Medical Center, there are many modalities to choose from. CAT scans, nuclear medicine, MRI, 4D ultrasound, digital mammography, bone density scanning, and a totally digital format. The technicians at Ashley Regional are highly trained and are well known for their great customer service skills. If you need an x-ray of any kind, ask your physician to send you to Ashley Regional Medical Center for quality results. There's no cost for imagination, no charge for dreams, no limit to what we can accomplish together. It takes grit. 
determination, but mostly it takes you. They are your ideas, your visions. We're here to help. Early mornings, late nights, heavy loads. We are real people turning extraordinary dreams into reality. Sunbelt Rentals. Mark Winterton, and it is uh, Union High School football. It's the playoffs, says the Cougars. First and goal here. Going to go with five receivers. Labram all alone in the backfield, takes the snap, and he's going to get in. That's going to be a touchdown for the Cougars. So the Cougars strike first in this playoff game. It'll be 6-0. Well, if you, uh, you're just joining us, it is, it is uh, VTV Channel 6 uh, broadcasting you live here from Union High School as the North San Pete Hawks come in to take on the Cougars here in this great matchup this afternoon in this playoff game. We had a chance to catch up with uh, both coaches as Lane gets ready to kick this extra point. Snap is down, kick is up. And that one's good. So the Cougars go up 7-0. to zero. Well, some keys to the game. Union, talking to Coach Labram. Of course, big thing is uh, playing great defense and valuing the football on offense. And then winning the fourth quarter. If you can keep it close and win the fourth quarter, well, you win the game. Common sense there. I got the, uh, I got the ex-Union quarterback sitting next to me here, Tyler Rasmussen. Doing a great job, Tyler. <laughs> uh, North Sam Pete, Rhett Bird. I think this is his first year coaching for North Sam Pete. It's either his first or his second. Anyways, in a rough year it's been as they're, un as they're winless. Uh, some keys to the game, he said, is we need to keep the offense on the field. Win the turnover margin and be disciplined and trust our keys. So that's uh, some things he had to say. Oh, we do want to thank all of our sponsors that uh, make it possible for us to bring you live coverage of, of high school sports here in the basin. l and Motor, Strata Networks, Ashley Regional Medical Center, Moon Lake Electric, Savage Services, Stickman, Sunbelt Rentals, and The Maze at Water Hollow Ranch. Oh, the Cougars now will kick off here. As Jer Miller gets a hold of that one. Nice kick. This one going to go into the end zone for a touchback. That's Keegan Eliason trying to fill it as that one goes over his head. Jer Miller, he's done that all year long. So another good kick by Miller. And now the Cougar defense will uh, take the field. Here, Cougar defenders. Defensive backs, Brock Brinkerhoff, along with Gage Roberts, Lincoln Labram, and Chase Burchill. Linebackers, now you got Jerem Miller, Colby Heider, and Easton Rohr. As we get a flag before the offense can even do anything. Oh, offsides on the, the Cougars right off. Oh, and your defensive lineman, well, that's Evan Percival, Tavita Kafusi, Loney Latui, and Brick Edwards, we like to call him. And so maybe, uh, so the Hawks getting a break here. It'll, it'll be first and five for them. Under center. And now we get a false start. So you know what? It'll just put them back. Stedman, the quarterback for the Hawks. Yes, he's gone. Uh, he's under a little, a little under 50% on the year, throwing six touchdown passes and uh, 10 interceptions. So Stedman now under center. It'll be first and ten. As he hands the ball off to uh, Eliason. Eliason will get five. So now they'll be back second and five. That was uh, Jerem Miller there 
First one making contact. As Hyder and uh, the rest of the crew are able to get in on that tackle. So again, Stedman under center. Eliason, the uh, halfback back there, but he's going to give to his fullback. They wanted to go up the middle on the left side. Stedman hands off. And again, he hands off That's the a Davis side. there. So Davis will pick up a couple, a few. It'll be third and two now for the Hawks from their own 28-yard line. Cougars trying to get a three and out here as the uh, Cougars go with a five-man front. Chase Lang joining them up, joining the defensive line there up front. As uh, Jerem Miller will come out. Cougars with a 5-2 here, and they're going to go up the middle with Davis. Davis Good looks like he's got middle. the first. Colby Hyder in on the tackle. Along with Kafusi. So the Hawks getting a first down and moving the ball up to their own 33-yard line. Well, Stratton Network's proud to help you bring you uh, bringing you live coverage of local sports. You can enjoy reliable coverage and unbeatable speeds from the company that brings you more local cell sites than any other carrier nationwide 4G LTE coverage and latest devices from your favorite brands. Stedman, hand off to Eliason. As Stedman gives to Eliason, and Eliason's going to pick up a few more Hawks here. By Evan Percival and Tavita Kafusi. Hawks continuing to run the ball. Looks like they're going to give him six. six That'll be second and four. Cougars will go back to a four-man front. And as they bring Lang out and uh, put uh, Miller back in at linebacker, back to their 4-3 defense here. And Stedman goes in the gun. He's going to roll right. Getting some uh, pass protection there. He's going to go down field, and it's intercepted by Birchall. Birchall, about the 42, trying to get up field. Finally pushed out of bounds at the 50. He'll be midfield there. So Stedman had the protection, had a little time as he rolled right, but as they threw it downfield, just didn't get enough on the ball. Receiver had to come back for it, and uh, Birchall, the taller, a little more athletic man downfield, I guess you could say, went up for it. And the Cougars. Offense, take the field. Well, again, that's uh, going to be one of those things that, uh, of course, for Coach Bird, he wanted to win that turnover margin, and there is a turnover right there. As Labram in the backfield, the lone man with five receivers. He'll take the snap, roll right, and he goes downfield. Intended for Chase Berlin, and it is well overthrown. As that one will fall incomplete, so it'll be first and ten now for the Cougars as they start this drive. Inside Hawk territory. Second and ten. Just inside. Second and ten now. <coughs> As the Cougars will keep five receivers. And why not? Why not if uh, the Hawks are going to stay with a man coverage? They fake it to Hyder this time, and Labram keeps it himself. Brought down for a loss of about two. So third and long. Third and long for the Cougars. Again, remaining with five receivers. Three to the right. Two to the left, Labram with the snap. He'll stay in the pocket. He's got Gage Roberts, and Roberts has a first. Third and long, no problem for the Cougars as they get the first here. Well, we'll see. Maybe they get the first. Maybe, maybe it'll be fourth and short. I imagine they're going to go for it if it is. And they are. And they bring Miller back in, go with, uh, going with four receivers. And they give to Miller. Miller's got it, and he breaks free. The acceleration by Miller, a lot faster than anybody else, but uh, top speed, he gets caught. As the Cougars getting down to the Hawk 23-yard line. It's first and 10. 
Play action, he's going deep. Lakeland has a man. Oh. Virtual, it looked like he got his hands on it, unable to bring that one in. Falls incomplete. But a great throw, regardless. Well, l, &L Motor, they're the top rated, number one rated new car dealer in the basin, and you can visit their new Buick GMC full service store in Vernal. Uh, this afternoon, Carbon is at Juan Diego, too, playing in the, uh, their game. On second and uh, 10, here from the Hawk 23 yard line, they bring Hyder in motion. That one almost Pass picked off. For six, Defenders are able to get their hands on it. Him. So again, again, Cougars looking at third down. Third and ten. Oh, still here in the first, but the Cougars leading 7-0 in this first round playoff game. The winner here will go on to play Juab in Juab next Friday as Labram getting pressured there in the pocket and the Hawks come up with a big sack. That's going to, uh, we'll see where they mark the ball on this fourth down, 31 yard line. Make it about a 48 yard field goal. So they will go for it. Comes in. We've seen Lang, we've seen Lang, let's see, I think Lang's longest that we've seen is about a 40 yard or 42, somewhere in there. The Cougars will go with five receivers. Imagine we'll see uh, Labram roll. Yeah, he's gonna stay in the pocket there. He's got plenty of time as he goes deep. Gage Roberts Pass. has that one win. just thrown a little bit out and uh, Roberts will come up with that one had it stayed in bounds, I imagine. But that one's a tough one as he's trying to keep his feet in also. And so a turnover on downs there. The Hawks will take over again. Cougars only up by seven here. So let's see if this Cougars stingy defense can get the ball back. Well, Ashley Regional Medical Center, the only joint commission accredited hospital in the basin. They're named one of the top 100 rural hospitals in uh, American by Becker's Review. Pitch to Eliason going around the left. Eliason not going to get much there going around the left side. Looks like um, oh, might be actually a loss of a foot here. Also happening, Gage Roberts. Second and 10. Yeah, we'll give him a loss of a foot there. Second and. Uh, a long 10. There's something about uh, Friday Night Lights, but this afternoon football's nice. Great weather as Stedman rolls right, throws. He's got his man. And I think he's got a first down there as that one's complete to Allred. Mason Allred, a senior, six foot wide receiver for the Hawks. Got the Hawk first down. They'll have a first and 10 now in their own 40. Allred, uh, from, my, uh, <clears throat> from what I'm showing, he's only, he's only had two receptions all year long for 17 yards. He makes a big one there as Stedman gives up the middle. Stedman hands it off to number 13, Eddie Davis. To Eddie Davis and Davis. Another one that uh, I've only had him showing uh, that he's actually rushed the ball once th all this year, and he's actually had two in this game. So the Hawks bringing everything they've got, which gives them a second and six here. Trying to get into Cougar territory, and we got a man that jumped. A Cougar. Defensive man, just the sophomore. It will uh, make it second and short. Doesn't give him a first. Second and short, second and one now. Gurr, just a sophomore, but he has been a tough kid for the Cougars, stepping up as uh, they had some suspensions earlier in the year. He stepped up to start for the Cougars and made a big difference, both offensively and defensively. 
So on second and short, Stedman gives to Davis, and Davis has got it. He gets plenty. And into Cougar territory. Evan Percival, Eastern Warrior on the tackle. That's the North Tempe first down. So I have a first and 10 on Union 47. Moon Lake Electric. Well, they've been in operation since 1938, owned by the people. They serve, and Moon Lake is a cooperative. They're not uh, privately owned. So Moon Lake Electric, you can find them, like them on Facebook. Stedman takes a snap. Yeah, I think he gave it to Davis again there. Stedman hands it off to his back. Oh, that's uh, actually Clawson. Dalton Clark on the tackle. Peyton. Also Roy. Peyton Clawson, just a sophomore for the Hawks. He actually started as a freshman for the Hawks last year, playing a lot of defense. And so was a sophomore. He's been a guy that they've leaned on, especially defensively. Again, they give to Clawson. This time, he's not getting anything as Hyder. Colby Hyder, he's made huge plays all year long for the Cougars on defense. And he makes another one there as that'll bring up third and long now here for the Hawks. Cougar is going to go to a nickel package here. And Stedman will roll right, going downfield. Oh, almost picked Stedman. off by Brinkerhoff. Receiver to number and so that'll make it fourth now, down. fourth down and long. 14, and I don't see anybody down. coming out to punt. And here comes the punt team. Luis Rodriguez, the man in the back for, uh, for the Hawks to punt. Back for the Cougars to receive the punt is Chase Birchall. 30 to punt. As Rodriguez, Rodriguez gets this one off. Going to go right side and not uh, allowing the Cougars to return this one as this one is going to be down to the 10. So the Cougar offense will come in to take over on their own 10-yard line. Well, Savage Services, a family founded the company in 1946 with a single truck hauling coal and timber in Utah. Today, they're a leader in supply chain management solutions that are tailored to meet the needs of our customers across a variety of industries, including electric power generation, coal production, oil refining, railroad, chemical, oil filled downhole services, and other industries. Savage Services, proud sponsor of BTV6's live coverage of the Uinta Basin High School football. We got a good one today as the Cougars lead 7-0. They'll take over on offense again here as they give to Miller up the middle. He'll get a couple. And that is going to do it for us. After one, the Cougars lead seven against the Hawks, zero. We'll be back after this break. Founded in 1946 by the Savage family with a single truck, today Savage is the leader in supply chain management solutions that are tailored to meet the needs of our customers across a variety of industries. We are a proud sponsor of high school sports coverage and the community here in the Uinta Basin. Being there to see the sunset, only to see it rise. Your friends, your family, and being around those who matter most. Visiting new places and trying new things the road trips, or the camping trips, the times you'll remember, and the places you'll go back to. Let each mile bring you closer to the moments that matter. l l Motor, people you know, people who care. 
Well, if you're just joining us, Mark Winterton here on uh, VTV as we're bringing you live coverage. Today, it's Union High School taking on the uh, North San Pete Hawks in this first round playoff game. An early afternoon, or I guess a later afternoon game. <laughs> as uh, it starts the second, uh, Lincoln Labrum fumbling there. He jumps on the ball. On his fumble, yeah. Luckily, there was no defenders there, and in fact, it fumbled in a right direction as he gets the first down. So, a lucky break for the Cougars. Way inside their own, deep inside their own territory. Labrum fumbling the ball and getting it back. So, dual receivers to both sides for the Cougars. Roberts and I believe that's Hyder on the far side. Our near side receivers here, Rohr and Burchill. Miller in the backfield. Labram will fake it to Miller, and he keeps it himself. Getting some nice blocking. Again, again, that offensive line for the Cougars making it easy. Loney Latui there at center. Your guards, Brick Edwards and Tavita Kafusi. Chase Lang and Dalton Clark. Your offensive tackles for the Cougars. And so a first down here for the Cougars, getting it up to their own 39-yard line. They'll give to Miller. Miller, Miller <laughs> immediately Miller. met by Blackham. Blackham. Well, Miller able to uh, push forward for a yard or two. Of course, our, I hope our, uh, our chain gang get it right there as he's got it for fourth down. There we go. Second minute, two. Oh, on second down, Labram drops back, gets a quick Lincoln's throw across the middle there to uh, Birchall. Birchall. Birchall doing almost like a uh, just a quick slant hook, stopping there in the middle. So third and short now for the Cougars. Well, Stickman Services, uh, or Stickman, they're proud to uh, sponsor VTV6's live coverage of UNA Basin High School football. As Labram fakes that one to Miller, and it'll be fourth. Along with Stickman, also Sunbelt Rentals, proud to sponsor VTV6's live coverage of UNA Basin High School football as they, they uh, offer the lifts for our camera crew, and for the coaches. Cougars are able to film from the end zone. So the Cougars will punt this one away, being conservative. Chase Lang, end over end, a nice punt. It's gonna take a nice little Cougar bounce too. As that one will go to the 14, Chase Berlin. Well, down there, and the Hawks the the will so take over on their own 14. Right well, the Mays at Water Hollow Ranch, they always uh, sponsor our player of the game. And so throughout the game, we'll be There's a flag on the play. So looking for Cougars that person. Looked like there was a penalty against the Cougars. They'll decline that. The Hawks will decline that. And so they take over on their own 14 yard line. Would I actually have the Cougars have to repunt the ball. <coughs> so instead the Hawks will keep it and start on their own 14. Stedman. Under center, I formation. As he gives to Eliason. Eliason. Eliason like an, gets the ball on the right hand side of the line. Running to the right side there. Lead blocker for him was uh, Brock Justison, I believe. Jaden Horrock and Kobe Hyder. But not First getting a whole out. lot. Cougar defense, again, continue to stay stingy, making it second Lincoln. and 10. Kruger's going to go with the three-man front. As Jaden Horrocks, a sophomore for the Cougars, comes in at linebacker. Uh, 
Stedman will roll right. He outruns Six Miller, gets it downfield. Now it's picked off. That one's intercepted by Labrum. Labrum trying to find his blockers. Uh, runs into a few men. There goes a, a flag. We'll see what the flag is. Always hoping everything's okay. There's actually a couple of flags out there. The flag the uh, officials are standing around is kind of a dirty one. Somebody needs to wash their flags. As the official crew meets, I'm guessing this one might be against the Cougars after the interception. Yeah, you tend to, oh, they're going to wave it off. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Sometimes after an interception like that, uh, things get a little chaotic. As somebody tries to do whatever they can, they may uh, end up blocking in the back, and that's what you were think I was thinking. But And again, our chain king. Come on, guys, get it right. You need to go the other way. <laughs> and so the Cougars, first and 10 with great field position here on the Hawk. What is that, 24-yard line there? Miller and Labrum in the backfield. And they give to Miller again. He bumps into a tackler, but uh, he bounces pretty good. Like a pinball, he's down to the 10. They'll mark this one at the 11, so the Cougars do have an opportunity for a first down. And again, Miller will carry, getting a few. Number 38 to Keegan Elias. Pick up a four, second and six. Labram pump fakes it. Now he gets to Hyder. Hyder trying to get in, but there is a flag thrown. He gets in, but the flag, I'm guessing that one's coming back. Saying ineligible receiver downfield against the Cougars, so. That one will be coming back. Hyder making a great effort to get in the end zone. Well, the penalty will uh, repeat second down here. Ineligible receiver downfield. So the Cougars come out with dual receivers to both sides. North St. Pete with a four-man front. As again, Labram fakes it to Miller, keeps it himself. Labram goes behind blockers. He's pulled down first by number 49. Looks like Tyler, uh, Blackham. Tyler Blackham gets the tackle also there. The play, and Stedman. 35 now. The Cougars, dual receivers both sides here. Third and about four, five. From about the five yard line, it looks like. Labor, I'm calling an audible. As now he'll throw it up to Birchill. Birchill. Makes the catch, a beautiful catch, and that was uh, Lemus on the cut or on the defense there. But Burchill going up over the top of him, and keep in mind he was at the back of the end zone. So you're making the catch and keeping your feet in. Great coverage there by Lemus, though. As Lang will come in to kick the extra point. The Cougars have an opportunity to go up by 14. And they do. So our score, Cougars 14, North St. Pete 0. We're back after this break.
In our small community, something big is happening. Strata's fiber network is connecting thousands of locations in the basin, bringing internet speeds now as fast as one gig. Delivered across the fastest technology available, gig internet has the speed and power equal to 1,000 megabits per second. For more streaming, more sharing, more connected devices, and more possibilities, it's internet fast enough for your life. Get your gig today from Strata Networks. We connect lives. And you are listening to Union High School football as the uh, Cougars are taking on the North St. Pete Hawks this afternoon here in Roosevelt in this 3A playoff game. Our referee tonight, Ken Nielsen. Umpire is Paul Husselby. Linesman, Brian Abbott. Line judge, Bruce McPherson. And the back judge, TJ Oswald. A lot of these guys coming down from St. George. So at least they had good weather as Miller kicks off here. Back to receive, it's Eliason. And that is number eight, Lemus. This one, they threw a flag. I imagine it was offsides. Cougars go offsides on the kick. Yeah, that'll be a five yard penalty. They'll have to re-kick from their own 35. And the kick actually going out of bounds. So I think the Cougars catch a lucky break there. Miller was ready to kick from the same spot. <laughs> I didn't even catch who, who jumped. Who jumped, Tyler? <laughs> Miller set to kick it Somebody again. on Union, he says. That's a great observation. <laughs> Miller will step off. See if he gets a better kick this time. Again, Lemus and Eliason down there to receive, and he does. This one, Eliason's going to take it at the six. Setting up his blocking there. He runs Eliason into the wall. Goes right up the middle. Brought down by Those blockers up front, they're going to get a pretty decent uh, return as they'll mark this one at the Hawk 33-yard line. So with 6.48 left to go in the first half, the Cougars lead 14-0. Has it now. In a game, game that means everything. Winner goes on, loser. Well, they're done for the year. The winner goes on actually to play Jew Abba Stedman. He's going to take this one left side. He breaks a tackle. Nice stiff arm there. Cuts it back to the right side. Yeah, and the Cougars. Oh, are they going to get there? I think he got in. Touchdown, Stedman. Touchdown, Stedman. Touchdown, North St. Pete. So a nice run there by Stedman. He picks up the nice, the good blocks there as he turns the corner. And then comes all the way back across the field. Avoiding the defense. A 67 yard return or a run there by Stedman. Stedman with only 82 yards uh, running on the year. Well, of course, you gotta, you kind of got to throw in the fact that a quarterback gets sacked and all that, but uh, still, add 78 yards to that. That's nice. Rodriguez actually acts, adds the extra point, and the Cougars only lead 14-7 to here against the Hawks in this playoff game. Again, the winner will go on to play Juab next Friday in Juab. That game at 4 p.m., so an early, another early game, which is kind of nice. I mean, usually October starts to get cold and the nights are freezing. So it's, it's more for the, uh, I guess, the, the people attending the game. And so uh, the Hawks will kick off to the Cougars here again. Cougars with 634 remaining left in the uh, first half, plenty of time to score. And a big thanks to our coverage sponsors. Allen l Motor, Strata Networks, Ashley Regional Medical Center, Moon Lake Electric, Savage Services, Stickman, and Sunbelt Rentals. Again, make sure you uh, stay right here on VTV. 
as uh, tonight, tonight uh, three games, three home games, Altamont. They're home to Rich. Duchesne, home to Leighton Christian, and Uenta will be home to Salem Hills. This kick, Cougars will take it about the 21. It's Chase Birchall as he cuts back across the left. He's got blockers up front, Roberts. And um, there's a flag that comes flying in there. Is Jackson uh, Langschwager and Braxton Brotherson with the tackle. We'll see what the flag is here. Probably against the Cougars would be my guess on this return. There's lots of things. You could either have a hold, block in the back, as the tackle was clean from what I could see. Officials will converse. Maybe pull out a uh, Flag is waved off. rule book, and they're going to wave this one off. So, so, so far we've seen two flags waved off as the coach or as the officials meet. Make sure they always get that play right or the uh, call right. So, first and ten for the Cougars from their own 35 as the uh, offense takes the field. Dual receivers to both sides. Labrum. In the gun with L Miller lined up in the backfield. The officials will explain that one to Bird. And we will talk about our sponsors. Strad Networks. Proud to be your local wireless provider. Right now you can get a 4G smartphone for zero down. And you can upgrade in as early as one year with Strata Plus. Just learn more. Go to stratanetworks.com. And if you're listening outside the basin, you can go to stratanetworks.com. So first and ten for the Cougars. They're going to give it to Miller around the right side. A There's great, a great defensive right play there by the Hawks in the backfield with a flag thrown in. We'll Elias wait to see what it is. Tackle. It's going to be a hold against the Cougars, the Cougars, and that even makes it, well, actually, it'll be a repeat of first down, but big penalty is about two yards back, so it'll make it first and 22 now for the Cougars. Taking this one back to the 22-yard line. 23, yeah, somewhere in there. Yeah, 23, there we go. So first and 22. So first and 21 yards now. Cougars. We'll go with trips left. Miller comes to the left side of Labram. Labram will give to Miller. Miller gets Miller. through the Coming line the of right scrimmage there. The the Walkers were able to open up a big enough hole, and he's able Number to pick up about six. So it'll be second and 16 now for the Cougs. Pick up a six yard, second and 15. Cougars coming out and running the ball quite a bit today, both Labram and Miller, as uh, now Miller or Labram will drop back to throw. He's going to go deep across the middle to Roberts, intended for Roberts, but too deep. Will be overthrown, incomplete. So it'll bring up a third and a, and a bundle for the Cougars. On the coverage, number 21, Ethan Bowles. Looks like Bowles was the man on the coverage there. A uh, junior for the Hawks. Hawks with four, or uh, the Cougars with four receivers, two to each side. Labram in the gun. As Labram will fake it and keep the ball. He's got filled and he's close to a first. He's got it. He'll get what he needs. And the Cougars pick up a uh, big third down conversion. As they'll, the offense will stay on the field. They now have a first and 10 on their own 46.
Same formation for the Cougars. Again, Labrum now drops back. Looking, looking, now he's got a man. It's Eastern Roar all alone in the flat. And just down the left side, he's got nobody there. Clawson, it's Clawson and uh, Clawson actually both chasing him down, but 14 and 15, but you know, Roar was wide open. That's one of those, it's too bad we can't run a uh, replay when you're not game of the week. <laughs> but what a play there by the Cougars. And it's, it's Labrum finding the open man. As he goes through all his progressions, finds Roar. Just doing a little out pattern there. He connects with Roar. And uh, Roar does the rest with his legs as Lang hits the extra point. And the Cougars on top, 21-7. to We're back after this break. It's an exciting one here in Roosevelt as the Union Cougars taking on the uh, North Sam Pete Hawks. Cougars able to score there on a uh, long pass play. Labrum finding Roar for the 50, those 50 plus yards there. And so the Cougars now on top, 21-7. Hawks defensively have been tough. Not allowing a whole lot and the Cougars Coming away with just the big play there to make it a two-score game. Miller to kick, Eliason, and uh, that is also Lemus for the Hawks back to receive. Miller. Miller's had some nice kicks today. We'll see if he can get another one. This one going to go high, more high than anything. Eliason comes under now about the 11, carrying it out past the 20. And nice play there, it looks like, by Gurr. And so the Hawks will take over on their own 25-yard line. Well, l and &L Motor... They're the number one rated car, new car uh, dealer in the basin. And you can visit their uh, new Buick GMC full service store in Bernal. <laughs> also, Strata Networks, they bring you the latest mobile devices from your favorite brands. Visit them today. Buy one, get one free on select smartphones. As Stedman drops back to throw. Now he's going to scramble. He finds Elias and over in the flat. Has to beat the and he a hit by Labrum, and they but will call it a catch. The it hit by Labrum causes uh, Eliason to, the ball to just come flying out. Go, I'm guessing he got his helmet on it. And the Cougars recover it. They'll take over now on the Hawk 25-yard line. So another turnover as the Hawks have thrown two interceptions and a fumble here. Again, keys to the game. Coach Bird, he wanted to win that turnover margin. Well, right now, not going so well. And so the Cougar offense is back onto the field. They're going to go trips right, and a flag comes in. Flag down. As the Hawks point at the Cougar offensive line, and it is false start on the Cougars. So first and 15 now for the Cougars. Ashley Regional Medical Center. Hey, they're looking forward to the completion of their new women's center in 2018. If you've driven past the Ashley Regional, you've seen the work going on. Well, that is, that is the new women's center, and it'll be completed next year. A 
Labron takes the snap, fakes it to Miller. He's going to keep it himself. He's got some nice blocking, cuts back. He'll pick up about eight yards on that one. And so it'll be second and uh, seven. Moon Lake Electric's been providing power to the area since 1938. Another uh, sponsor of BTV6's live coverage of high school football. Labram drops back to throw. Scrambling, he uh, gets it off to Roberts. Roberts breaks a tackle, and he gets in. Does he get in? He does. Nope, they're going to say he's out of bounds. Did, did you see a touchdown uh, signal? Oh, okay, I missed it. <laughs> I think that was number 21 on the coverage there, Ethan Bowles. And Roberts making a nice move just to shake him. He had a hold of his jersey, and he couldn't hang on. And Roberts gets in for the touchdown. The athlete of the week, Gage Roberts there with a nice uh, run and score. And Lang will knock in the extra point. And the Cougars. Up 28 to 7 with four minutes left to go in the first half. We're back after this break. Hey, you, me, with a drink and popcorn waiting for the movie. It's the moment you've waited all year for. The corn maze is open again in Bluebell. Your favorite fall activities in one place. There's a pumpkin patch, kettle corn, goats, pumpkin cannons, spooky trails. There's just too much to list. So go to www.bluebellcornmaze.com or look up Bluebell Corn Maze on Facebook. Head to the corn maze at Water Hollow Ranch located in Bluebell, where getting lost means finding fun. And we are back is uh, just a four minutes, a little over four minutes left to go here in the first half. The Cougars lead 28 to seven. North Zampi had a nice run by Stedman, about a, uh, I think what we figure, it was a 67 yard run or 70 something. Anyways, nice run by Stedman getting uh, the Hawks on the board. But so far the Cougars offensively have kept the North St. Pete's defense on the field most of the game. Three turnovers, and we'll see if the what North St. Pete's offense can do now as Miller kicks this one. Eliason's going to field this one out his own seven. Comes across the ten. He meets a uh, tackler there about the twenty. Looks like that's again Gurr. Also Barnes was in there. Kobe Gurr on the stop. So Gurr with another one. I think the last kickoff, Gurr had the tackle there. And so Eliason getting out. Uh, we're going to mark this one at the 22-yard line. First and 10 on their own 22. Oh, Stedman under center. He's got Clausen. Lined up in the back, and this one's a quick pass over to the right side. Makes a nice pass move. He's going to be pushed out of bounds, out of bounds. by Labram. That's Mickle. Kai Mickle with the catch. And he picks up about, about six for the uh, Hawks. Reception Quickly to the line of scrimmage as three. they're working against the time clock here. Stedman will give it up the middle. Handoff. Davis, Davis taking this one for maybe a yard or he'll get a yard. <clears throat> so now on third and two, Stedman pitches this one out to Clawson. Clawson going to the right side. He gets a nice block, and he's finally Hand pushed out of bounds, knocked out of bounds by the, the number right two. Side. That's Lincoln Labram. And so Clawson picks up a first for the – on the tackle, Hawks. Hardy and Chase Birchall. Just enough to move the chains. And he gets out of bounds, stopping the clock at 3.31. First and 10 on the road, 38. Again, Hawks working this tight formation. They pitch it out to Clawson again. Clawson going to go deep. He throws. And that ball thrown That's out of bounds, intended for Mason Allred, incomplete. It's Chase Birchall on the coverage. Coverage on the play, Birchall. 
that'll bring up second and 10 now. Caden Hyder in. Garrett Hardy. From their own 37 yard line. Hawks are going to do some substitution here. And they're going to go trips left. Stedman in the gun. Takes the snap. Clawson going out on a swing pattern. Instead, gonna, Stedman's going to be pushed. He's out to the right side. He's got nobody but Burchill. Burchill can't get to him. A nice move by Stedman. And finally, it is, that is Roberts that takes him down. But another run. Stedman doing it on his own for the Hawks. He's had, he had a, uh, the other touchdown. I guess he's not doing it on his own. He picked up some nice blocks in that first run. This time, he rolls out, scrambling, and... Uh, of course, he's got all of his uh, receivers on the left side of the field, pulling all of the Union defenders over the there. Hawks have it now first and ten on the Cougar nine. So the Cougar defense failing to have someone watching Stedman. Stedman's dangerous back there. So on a first down inside the ten, he'll give it to Clawson. Clawson getting a few. <coughs> he'll get up to about the six-yard line. So second and goal for the Hawks from the six-yard line. Pick up a three, second and seven. Goal to go for the Hawks. With only 2.37 left to go here in the uh, first half. Hawks down 28-7. They'd like to change that. They give up the middle. That is to Davis. Davis gets few. Back, That'll bring up third line. down. Jaden Horrocks. We're gonna mark this one about the four Horrocks. yard line. So third and goal from the four yard line. Yeah, about the third, uh, three yard line actually. Third and three, goal so third and goal Hawks. from the three. Guys, Cougar fans, what do you say? Come on, defense. Coming out with this. Tight formation, four or three receivers on the right side. They're going to pitch to Clawson. Clawson trying to cut back. And that is a huge play by Hyder as he gets in the backfield. Gets a hold of Clawson, holds on to him, and then uh, Roar in to help him out as they bring him down for a loss of two. It'll be fourth and goal from the five. The Hawks will go for it. Yeah, Stedman getting a play from the sideline there. Jogs right, back to the huddle. Go for it. Stedman Cougar is going to go in the gun with Clawson lined up back there. He's got three receivers. Three receivers and a uh, – actually had a uh, tight end there. And the Cougars going to go with a timeout, and we'll go with one too. MKJ Construction has been serving Central Utah and the surrounding area for over 30 years. Whether you have a project as large as a new road or water line or as intricate as a decorative landscape feature, we have the experience and equipment to complete any size project. We also deliver sand, gravel, road base, topsoil, and landscaping boulders. Call MKJ Construction at 427-9299, 427-9299, and see what we can do for you. And we're back. Stedman, the snap hiked over his head there, and now he's just running for his life on fourth down. You know, that's tough. That's a tough predicament when you're trying to score. And a mistake like that puts you on your heels. And so the Cougar offense will take the field. In the, in, the, in the situation that they incomplete a pass, the Cougars will be taken over on their own five yard, or on the, uh, sorry, on the Hawks. Yeah, on their own five yard line. Instead, they're taken over on their own 26 yard line. Oh, 31, 31 yard line. D 
defensively. All they got to do is chase Stedman down, which isn't necessarily the easiest thing to do. He's a speedy quarterback. And so Labram comes out with five receivers with just a little over a minute left to go here in the first half. The Cougars. And Labram's going to keep it. Not going to get anything there. So it'll be second down. Cougars will continue to run the clock. Up 28 to 7 here, looking to go into halftime. Latui, the center, as he gets the ball there to Labram. Labram drops back. He's got time. He's got time. Now he's going to go deep down the field, intended for Hyder. Hyder's got the catch. On the coverage was Wesley Madsen and Brock Justison. Double teamed, and Hyder uh, comes up with the ball. Madsen and the, the Cougars coverage. into Hawk territory. They'll mark this one at the 25. Ball is, or the time is, uh, clock is stopped at 37 seconds here as Hyder, or Hyder was able to get out of bounds. Again, five receivers. Labram throws. Incomplete. Intended for Hyder. Thrown just a little high. Clausen uh, on the coverage. And Lemus diving. Trying to pick up the inter Trying to pick up the uh, tipped ball there. So it'll be second down now. In Lang territory, I should say, as Lang can hit the field goal from here. Cougars give to Miller. Miller finding some blocking. And that is a nice tackle by Peyton Clausen, actually, to take him down. So it'll be third and five, or uh, third, third and five. The Cougars gonna go with a timeout. We will as well. Terry R. Brothers in Excavating and TRB Rock Products offers aggregate products for any of your road construction needs, including road base and a selection of crushed rock products. TRB Rock Products also has landscaping products, topsoil, reject sand, and an eye-catching red landscaping rock. They also do commercial and residential construction, basements, water lines, sewer lines, septic tanks, and perk tests. Get a free estimate at 462-3954. TRB Rock Products, a proud supporter of North Sanpete Athletics. Experiencing pain or a serious condition with your feet? If so, trust an expert podiatrist with next generation training. At Elite Ankle and Foot in Mount Pleasant and Gunnison, Dr. Tyler Jolly specializes in a wide variety of foot and ankle conditions involving patients from infancy through geriatrics. Dr. Jolly is board certified with the American Board of Podiatric Medicine and studied with an emphasis in sports medicine, reconstructive surgery, and trauma. Call Elite Ankle and Foot at 462 Foot. That's 462 Foot or online at eliteankleandfoot.com. Well, after the Cougar timeout, third and six, we're back. With short time left to go here in the first half. Labram in the gun, drops back. He's got plenty of time as uh, Miller staying in the block. Now he's going to get rushed. He'll scramble away. He throws deep. Intended for Chase Berlin, and the ball overthrown. But that will stop the clock with 14 seconds. The Cougars. It'll be fourth down for him at halftime. We've got uh, Coach Melot Meloto, Anna. I probably butchered her last name, but who cares? Well, she cares <laughs> as she's standing here. Uh, but uh, uh, the head coach for the Union Cougar volleyball team as they went undefeated in region and will head to state next week. Their first game, uh, I think it's... I think the first game is Wednesday as Chase Lang will kick this field goal. Did he get it? No good. Just barely to the left. And so North Sam Pete will take over with 10 seconds left to go, but that's all Stedman needs as we've seen him scramble before. Imagine the defense to come out playing fairly conservative as they'll play a prevent-style defense here. Moon Lake Electric, they've been in operation since 1938. You can find them and like them on Facebook. Also, the Savage family founded the company back in 1946 with a single truck hauling coal and timber in Utah. 
Stickman and Sunbelt Reynolds, both proud sponsors of VTV6's live coverage of UNA Basin High School football. So big thanks to both Stickman and Sunbelt Reynolds as there goes Stedman again. <laughs> Brock Brinkerhoff brings him down. We see a timeout here by uh, North Sam Pete. I imagine they'll take a timeout here. Because otherwise that's it. Yep, there they are. They did they did take a timeout. They did take the timeout. <laughs> imagine they would have, but uh, we're waiting to see, so. I was surprised the officials didn't, or maybe the coach didn't tell the officials before that. Can't put less than 10 seconds, so we'll have to count it off. So 1.2 seconds will be left on the clock. Basically just enough for one more play here. Again, again, a big thanks to all of our coverage sponsors. l and Motors, Strata Networks, Ashley Regional Medical Center, Moon Lake Electric, Savage, Stickman, and Sunbelt Rentals. And remember, we've got, uh, we'll be talking with the head coach from Union High School Volleyball Program as they head to state next week. We'll be talking with her at halftime, so don't go anywhere. And we got a good halftime show. I'm, at least I'm guessing. I'm guessing the uh, Cougar cheerleaders dressed in some. I'm guessing that's zombie. Zombie wear. Is Stedman, the lone man in the backfield. He's going to go deep. Downfield intended for number 84, and I don't have his name, but that's going to do it for us. So, after a first half play it is cougars 28 the hawks seven we'll be back after this break we've got a little halftime uh, interview state farm insurance and financial services is your best choice for dependable insurance coverage and finance options local agent danny dykes in moroni offers all types of insurance as well as state farm financial services where you're able to finance your dreams through state farm bank state farm also offers the pocket agent app for smartphones and the new Drive Safe and Save discount. Visit your local State Farm Insurance and Financial Services office in Moroni. Phone 800-347-8601. That's 800-347-8601. The mayor, city council, and residents in the cities of Mount Pleasant, Fairview, and Moroni wish the North Sampede Hawks the best of luck this season. The entire community is proud to support North Sampede High School in preparing the future leaders of Sampede County. They're committed to ensuring that area youth are provided the best opportunities to learn the important lessons of life through academics and athletic competition. Good luck to the players, coaches, faculty, staff, and student body from the cities of Fairview, Moroni, and Mount Pleasant.
that. Good job, good grip. Beautiful uniform, beautiful pom poms, beautiful girls. Great dance. That's your Union High School Cougarettes. As we'll continue to, I think the cheerleaders are going to do something. But we've got uh, Coach Miloto. Miloto. Okay. Let me see if I can hear you in that mic. Him? Maybe. No. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Keep talking. <laughs> One, two, three. There we go. <laughs> yep, I can hear you good. Okay. All right. Uh, Coach Anna. Yeah. <laughs> with Union High School Volleyball. You guys undefeated. You came away with a win last night against Juab in Nephi. Yep. Uh, three, you beat him in three beat sets. Him three. Yep. It was, a good, it was a good game, though. Like, the second game, we went 26-24. So they, they gave us a good run for it. Boy, that is some loud music. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching this... Uh, I'm guessing they're dressed like zombies, right? Yeah. We're going to come back. We'll be talking with uh, Coach Anna after some uh, Union High School cheerleaders. Great job, cheerleaders. Appreciate all oh, the cheerleaders. cheerleaders and nice little dance there. And their coaches. We're going to go back to uh, talking with Coach Anna of the Union High School volleyball team as they've got, uh, they've got state coming up uh, this next week. They just got done playing Juab last night, last game of the season. And, and, of course, you finished it good. Yep, we, we went undefeated, so that was cool. And they, they, were, they gave us a good match. They went, we went to three, but the second game, it was 26-24, so it was tough. They hit well, and we started serving them out of system, so that helped us. We started serving tougher. So. You got one of your volleyball players up here, well, um, n namely because we actually chose her as uh, athlete of the week for, uh, for the volleyball team. Yep, this is Mesa, and she, I chose her for Player of the Week because we, she's been serving really well and passing really well. Really well. So, Mesa, you're a junior, right? Yeah, I'm a junior. 
So you, and, and you play multiple sports, don't you? Yeah, um, I've been playing three sports my whole high school career so far. So volleyball, basketball, and softball. All right. Well, and, and volleyball, boy, you guys are doing great. Uh, you got state next week. You play um, on Wednesday. Is that yeah. correct? And who are you playing? Do you know? We have South Severe. South Severe is our first game, so our first round, and then we'll just go from there. But From there? Yeah. But South Severe, I think they're – so they were seated sixth, sixth in, their in the other region. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's, it's going to be a tough match. I can't overlook anybody because I, I think the other regions are a little bit tougher, so they've been – playing at a higher level so we need to be working hard so if you want to see union high school volleyball go out and cheer them on they're going to be playing at uh, utah valley university yep. the center there i don't even what was that what is that called i don't know utah valley yeah. university center yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um and the your game first game is at 10 30 yep and then our second game will be at 1 30. second game at 1 30. yep and so uh good luck to the union cougar volleyball team Okay. Thank thanks for thanks for joining us here at halftime. And again, if you're just joining us, 28-7, the Cougars in this first round playoff game with the North Sam Pete Hawks. They're at halftime here. And uh, so we'll be, uh, let's see, we got six minutes left in halftime. We're gonna go away to break. We'll be back here in just a bit. Some of the most important diagnostic tools in medicine today are in the radiology department. At Ashley Regional Medical Center, there are many modalities to choose from. CAT scans, nuclear medicine, MRI, 4D ultrasound, digital mammography, bone density scanning, and a totally digital format. The technicians at Ashley Regional are highly trained and are well known for their great customer service skills. If you need an x-ray of any kind, ask your physician to send you to Ashley Regional Medical Center for quality results. There's no cost for imagination, no charge for dreams, no limit to what we can accomplish together. It takes grit, determination, but mostly it takes you. They are your ideas, your visions. We're here to help. Early mornings, late nights, heavy loads. We are real people turning extraordinary dreams into reality. Sunbelt Rentals, your ideas, our equipment. Founded in 1946 by the Savage family with a single truck, today Savage is the leader in supply chain management solutions that are tailored to meet the needs of our customers across a variety of industries. We are a proud sponsor of high school sports coverage and the community here in the Uinta Basin. Being there to see the sunset, only to see it rise. Your friends, your family, and being around those who matter most. Visiting new places and trying new things the road trips, or the camping trips, the times you'll remember, and the places you'll go back to. Let each mile bring you closer to the moments that matter. l l Motor, people you know, people who care. In our small community, something big is happening. Strata's fiber network is connecting thousands of locations in the basin, bringing internet speeds now as fast as one gig. Delivered across the fastest technology available, gig internet has the speed and power equal to 1,000 megabits per second. For more streaming, more sharing, more connected devices, and more possibilities, it's internet fast enough for your life. Get your gig today from Strata Networks. We connect lives.
Hey, you. Me. With a drink and popcorn waiting for the movie. It's the moment you've waited all year for. The corn maze is open again in Bluebell. Your favorite fall activities in one place. There's a pumpkin patch, kettle corn, goats, pumpkin cannons, spooky trails. There's just too much to list. So go to www.bluebellcornmaze.com or look up Bluebell Corn Maze on Facebook. Head to the corn maze at Water Hollow Ranch located in Bluebell, where getting lost means finding fun. MKJ Construction has been serving Central Utah and the surrounding area for over 30 years. Whether you have a project as large as a new road or water line or as intricate as a decorative landscape feature, we have the experience and equipment to complete any size project. We also deliver sand, gravel, road base, topsoil, and landscaping boulders. Call MKJ Construction at 427-9299, 427-9299, and see what we can do for you. Terry R. Brothers in Excavating and TRB Rock Products offers aggregate products for any of your road construction needs, including road base and a selection of crushed rock products. TRB Rock Products also has landscaping products, topsoil, reject sand, and an eye-catching red landscaping rock. They also do commercial and residential construction, basements, water lines, sewer lines, septic tanks, and perk tests. Get a free estimate at 462-3954. TRB Rock Products, a proud supporter of North Sanpete Athletics. Experiencing pain or a serious condition with your feet? If so, trust an expert podiatrist with next generation training. At Elite Ankle and Foot in Mount Pleasant and Gunnison, Dr. Tyler Jolly specializes in a wide variety of foot and ankle conditions involving patients from infancy through geriatrics. Dr. Jolly is board certified with the American Board of Podiatric Medicine and studied with an emphasis in sports medicine, reconstructive surgery, and trauma. Call Elite Ankle and Foot at 462 Foot. That's 462 Foot or online at eliteankleandfoot.com. State Farm Insurance and Financial Services is your best choice for dependable insurance coverage and finance options. Local agent Danny Dykes in Moroni offers all types of insurance as well as State Farm Financial Services where you're able to finance your dreams through State Farm Bank. State Farm also offers the Pocket Agent app for smartphones and the new Drive Safe and Save discount. Visit your local State Farm Insurance and Financial Services office in Moroni. Phone 800-347-8601. That's 800-347-8601. The mayor, city council, and residents in the cities of Mount Pleasant, Fairview, and Moroni wish the North Sampede Hawks the best of luck this season. The entire community is proud to support North Sampede High School in preparing the future leaders of Sampede County. They're committed to ensuring that area youth are provided the best opportunities to learn the important lessons of life through academics and athletic competition. Good luck to the players, coaches, faculty, staff, and student body from the cities of Fairview, Moroni, and Mount Pleasant. Some of the most important diagnostic tools in medicine today are in the radiology department. At Ashley Regional Medical Center, there are many modalities to choose from. CAT scans, nuclear medicine, MRI, 4D ultrasound, digital mammography, bone density scanning, and a totally digital format. The technicians at Ashley Regional are highly trained and are well known for their great customer service skills. If you need an x-ray of any kind, ask your physician to send you to Ashley Regional Medical Center for quality results. Well, if uh, you missed the first half, welcome to Union High School. I'm Mark Winterton. And, of course, a great matchup this afternoon between the Union Cougars and North St. Pete Hawks as uh, Morning, Hawks Captain. find themselves down 28-7 here against the Cougars. Cougars had a great uh, first half, and we'll talk just a little bit about the keys of the game. Morning, North St. Pete guys. coach Bird talked about uh, keeping the down. offense Morning. on the field. Well, Morning. thank you. I think it's been the other way. Cougar offense has been on the field the whole time. Winning the turnover margin has been a, one of those keys for the Hawks. Throwing two picks and a fumble that uh, went to the Cougars. Cougars, I know, had a fumble, but they actually recovered it themselves. And so there's your turnover margin right there. And the other is uh, be disciplined and trust our keys from Coach Bird. <coughs> we'll see what kind of changes 
Coach Bird has uh, made at halftime to see if he can get his Hawks back into this game. Cougars valuing the football. Well, they've done that so far. And then playing great defense. That's the part they've got to uh, improve. Stedman has been able to Braxton. run the ball against the Cougars, making some Will nice moves, beautiful Braxton. moves. In fact, he had a Come long on, one, another another Get long one. Rolling. He had a couple of long runs. And uh, if you can Braxton see over there, Braxton Nelson coming onto the track. Braxton Tough. Braxton Tough. There's Braxton. Is uh, suffering a uh, a rodeo accident earlier it's supposed to be this year. Friday, so this is awesome news, man. A couple days early, he's doing and so well. He's recovery. come home now after spending well. a lot of time in the hospital. He's got a great attitude. As uh, he's got a lot of support here in the community. Um, in fact, I know they've redesigned his home to make sure that uh, it's wheelchair accessible as he continues to <coughs> go through physical therapy. Elias and Elimus back deep. Par paralyzed from the waist down. Let's get ready for some more football. And so quarter. good luck to Braxton and as uh, we get started with second half action, the Cougars will kick to the Hawks. Back to receive for the Hawks, it's Eliason and Lemus. But this one's, oh, well, Eliason will take this one about the 14. Coming upfield, he's across the 30, uh, down to the 40 as he runs over, making a nice hit on Roberts, but Roberts getting the tackle. On the tackle, Gage Roberts. And so the Hawks will take over on their own 40-yard line to start here in the second half. We'll be uh, coming up with a player of the game that's sponsored by Mays at Water Hollow Ranch, so uh, that'll be the end of the game. We'll announce that one. Uh, Stedman under center. That's Clausen. He'll pick up three. Actually, he's going to get four on that one. They'll Both put this one up at the 44. Clawson, 16 on the tackle, Colby Heider. Yeah, Clawson, uh, Pick up a four yard, second and six. Hasn't on. carried it a whole lot. Their uh, leading rusher is both uh, Mason Burgess and Keegan Eliason as Stedman rolls, throws downfield. Finds a man that on one completed to Langschwager. As Chase Birchall will make Tackle the stop. Number three, Chase Birchall. But another first down for the Hawks. Down. Or a first down there for the Hawks as they uh, will get into I'll Cougar territory. Cougars making a... I was like, where'd our camera go? As uh, Cougars making a f or having four down linemen there, and they give to Davis. I believe that's Hand Davis off. up the up the middle. To number 13, Eddie Davis up the right side of the line. On the tackle, Someone was off looking at the stars for just a second. We didn't miss a play at least, right? <laughs> As uh, the Hawks. Getting up to the Cougar 40-yard line. It'll be second and eight. Stedman will go under center. As he keeps it, pitches it to the sophomore. Clawson will get a, another two yards. So it'll be third and six now for the Hawks. So the Hawks moving the ball here as we come out of halftime. Third and six. You know, one of the big plays of the first half was the where the Hawks trying to score, fourth and five, and then the snap over the top of Stedman, causing the, uh, the Hawks to have a turnover on downs. As the pass completed there, that was to uh, Langschwager. The flag comes flying in. We'll see if the... Uh, Cougars accept the penalty.
Accepting the penalty will uh, make it third down again. Declining it will go fourth. And the Cougars trying to see what they're doing. I think they want to So one of the coaches there showing decline the penalty, but they are going to take it. And so a 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul, which makes it even worse. It'll be third and 20 now. And the Hawks have it now on their 47-yard line. So Stedman will go into the gun with four receivers. I think that's Clawson lined up next to him in the backfield there. There's the snap. Stedman will just scramble out of there, and the Cougars waiting for him. As uh, Chase Burr. Oh, that's uh, actually Brinkerhoff. You know, and he's going to get up to the same spot they got, they had anyway at fourth down. Stedman making another big move with his feet, and he's deadly. First to number 20, Jaden Horrocks, and a host of Cougars. Cougar defense. Still with uh, no way of, uh, no answer here in the second half. First half, no answer. They went into halftime. You'd think they'd have something, but uh, again, no answer. As Stedman making a big move, and you know what? Fourth and three, and with Stedman's feet, might as well be a first down, right? As the Hawks come out with four receivers again, Stedman in the gun. Cougars showing blitz. Flag down. And it's the Hawks with a timeout, and we're going to take one as well. North MP, timeout, Hawks. There's no cost for imagination, no charge for dreams, no limit to what we can accomplish together. It takes grit, determination, but mostly it takes you. They are your ideas, your visions. We're here to help. Early mornings, late nights, heavy loads. We are real people turning extraordinary dreams into reality. Sunbelt Rentals, your ideas, our equipment. After the timeout, Stedman's going to go under center. Four receivers. Cougars playing tight on Stedman. Stedman will roll around to the left. He's going to go deep. Got a man down there. It's Lincoln Labram defending. And a nice catch by Davis. Puts the Hawks on the board. Labram turned around, but uh, unable to either find the ball in the air or just get to it, Davis makes the catch. So a great throw, catch, and the Hawks make it 13. We'll see if they can make it 14 here. As Rodriguez comes in to kick, Stedman to hold. Stedman to hold. 9.04 left to go here in the third quarter. Still early in the second half. Back down and up. As Rodriguez will add that one, and it's good. Cougars 28, Hawks 14. We'll be back after this break. Founded in 1946 by the Savage family with a single truck, today Savage is the leader in supply chain management solutions that are tailored to meet the needs of our customers across a variety of industries. We are a proud sponsor of high school sports coverage and the community here in the Uinta Basin. Being there to see the sunset, only to see it rise. Your friends, your family, and being around those who matter most. Visiting new places and trying new things. The road trips or the camping trips. The times you'll remember and the places you'll go back to. Let each mile bring you closer to the moments that matter. l l Motor, people you know, people who care.
In our small community, something big is happening. Strata's fiber network is connecting thousands of locations in the basin, bringing internet speeds now as fast as one gig. Delivered across the fastest technology available, gig internet has the speed and power equal to 1,000 megabits per second. For more streaming, more sharing, more connected devices, and more possibilities, it's internet fast enough for your life. Get your gig today from Strata Networks. We connect lives. And we are back. There was a penalty on the extra point. Unsportsmanlike against the Cougars. So this will be assessed on the kickoff. But probably a 15 yard penalty there. So the uh, Hawks will be kicking from the Cougar 45 yard line. So North St. Pete will kick it off. And Union's 45. Get ready, Coop. Which means uh, Rodriguez, better chance of him kicking that one into the end zone for a touchback. And making the Cougars start on their own 20 where they've, uh, I think they've averaged about the 35. As Rodriguez comes into this one, it's going to go left side. Out of bounds. Rolls out of bounds. Penalty. So, of course, that one being a penalty, and that one's actually going to give the Cougars, that's not going to do anything for the Hawks. It'll give the Cougars the ball on the 35. Some more, some more discussion. I'm wondering if somebody touched the ball. So we'll have, we'll let them discuss. You know what? And why they do? Let's go to a quick break. back a legal procedure there against the Hawks I'm not sure what the officials have decided here as the Hawks kicked from the Cougar 45 yard line had a great opportunity here but the ball kicked out of bounds <coughs> and so the ball will be placed at the 20 because of the where the ball was kicked. I guess it's a 15 yard. So they're saying first and 10 for the Cougars so, on the 20. On their own 20. Cougars will take over on their own 20. Labram in the gun. Dual receivers to both sides, and he'll fake it to Miller. A nice pass over to Quick Birchall. Birchall with the stiff arm. On the coverage, Labram will take over on their own 20. Chance Clausen on the coverage. Eliason makes the, the, I guess the final tackle there. As Clawson held on, Birchill gets a few yards. So it'll be second down now for the Cougars. This time they'll give to Miller, and he gets gobbled up in the backfield. Eliason there. Also Davis. And the big man. Big man number 77, Ashworth. Dustin Ashworth, Dyson, a number just Dustin a junior. So the Hawks making nice stop there on second down, causing the Cougars to have a third and long 10 as they bring Birchall in motion. They'll give to Birchall around the right side. He cuts it up 
field. He'll get a few, but the Cougars will pump this ball away. As the punt team comes in. So North St. Pete starting this second half out in better fashion as they get on the board with a touchdown, making it a two score game and now holding the Cougars to three and out. Chase Lang to punt. Back to receive. For the Hawks is Lemus. Lang's punt, nice one. Nice uh, spiral there and it's gonna get past Lemus. Chase Berlin chasing it down. As Lemus playing daredevil there. And Berlin just going, pick it up. Come on, pick it up. <laughs> and so the Hawks will take over on their own 22. So the Hawks score on their first drive of the second half. Getting the Cougars to go three and out on the Cougars first. And now the Hawks will have their second drive. So. The last, uh, of course, the last meeting of these two, Union walked away with a win, 27 to 21 against North St. Pete. As Union outscored North St. Pete 15 to six in the fourth quarter of the game to pull out the win. Lincoln labored them through uh, two key touchdowns in the fourth quarter. And another fumble. Looks like a fumble. And it's Gage Roberts that gets on it. So. The Hawks continue to struggle with their turnovers, especially after getting the Cougars to go three and out. And now the Cougar offense is on the field. So now the Cougars will have a first and 10 on the Hawks 20. <clears throat> Welcome all of our Hawks listeners. I'll try not to sound too biased on here, as all it is is I call it Cougar games all year long. In fact, I travel with them on the road. And then uh, right here on VTV for the home games is the Cougars in the gun. It's Labrum. He'll roll left. Going downfield. It's to Berlin. Berlin takes it at the 10. And he, they're going to get inside the 10. It'll be first and goal from the Cougars from the seven-yard line. So the Cougars going three and out, cause a uh, turnover there against the Hawks and, goal to goal and get great line. field position. Going trips right, and they're going to give to Miller. Miller up the gun, and or up the, the middle, middle, I mean. And uh, great blocking. It is Miller time as he has a great blocking. You know what, you have to give hats off. I mean, congratulations. How, how would you do? You, you got to congratulate your lineman on that one. Because without your lineman, of course, Dalton Clark, Chase Lang. Now, now he, now he trades off hats for his place kicker hat. And then Loney Latui, Brig Edwards, and Tavita Kafusi, your offensive line for the Cougars, opening up that big hole for Miller. And Lang will add another one on there. So, Cougars up 35-14. 6:56 left to go here in the third. We'll keep you right here for just a little bit. And uh, well, a big thanks to all of our sponsors. l and Motor, Strata Networks, Ashley Regional Medical Center, Moon Lake Electric, Savage Services, and Stickman, along with Sunbelt Rentals. And, uh, and then I guess we need, to, we need to throw in the, uh, the maze at the Water Hollow Ranch, who sponsors our player of the game. We'll be bringing that to you at the end of the game, too. So the Hawks. Kickoff return squad will take the field. Eliason and Lemus back to return, <coughs> back to receive. As the Cougars will come in to kick. Jerem Miller, he'll kick this one off. Jerem, a senior involved in so many different things, along with Elijah drama and uh, choir. But also the Cougars' leading rusher. As I think he's got over 1,000 yards on the year. I think he went over 1,000 on Friday. I didn't see the exact uh, statistic.
Miller missed all of last year after he had a knee injury. But back this year healthy, and he'll kick that one into the end zone for another touchback. Eliason making the grab there. And so that means the Hawks will take over on their own 20-yard line. Well, l and Motor, you can visit their new Buick GMC full-service store in Vernal. Also, Strata Networks, they're proud to be your local wireless provider. Right now, you can get a 4G smartphone for zero down. That's right, zero down upgrade in as early as one year with Strata Plus. All you got to do... Go to stratanetworks.com to learn more and find all the other goodies they've got. A Stedman in the gun, fakes it, and he's going to keep it to the right side. Getting past a uh, Cougar defender. Now I'm not sure what's going on. Boy, Stedman is tough on his feet. That's a hot first down. Huge play. He'll get 20 yards there. With the tackle and a host of... Uh, I think Stedman's over 100 yards already tonight. So Hawks have a first and 10 on their own 40. As the Hawks will continue downfield here. First down. Stedman now goes under center. And he gives up the middle. Handoff counter to number 40. That's to Justison. Around the left side. Brock Justison, just a junior. That is the one nice thing about uh, the Hawks is they're spread out. Stedman, of course, the senior. They're going to miss him a lot next year. And Davis. But they've got a lot coming back. <coughs> and now I'm not sure what's going on as the officials... Not really sure. Oh, there, it's something to do with the yard marker and the ball. Pick up a two, second and eight. Well, second and eight now. Stedman will roll right. And now he'll keep it. But it is the Cougars that bring him down there. And it looks like it might be for a loss there as Garrett Harding gets a hold of him. Making a great play defensively, not to get juked out of his shoes. Stedman's done a good job doing that tonight or this afternoon. I guess it starts to become night. You can see the shadows there. Third and eight. But still great weather. You can't pick uh, better weather to play a football game in. So on third and eight, Stedman in the gun. He's got trips left. Drops back to throw. He's uh, going to go right now. He comes back left. The pass to Justison. Justison bounces off the tackle by Heider, and he'll get a yard. So it'll be fourth and seven now for the Hawks. The Hawks punt team does come in. Down by three touchdowns, three scores, and a quarter and a half to go. Always makes you say, watch for the fake. And he'll roll right, and he will. Throwing back to his left side, wide open. It's Davis. And they do. They fake it and get it. Chase is wearing Braxton Nielsen's number. He's worn it all year. Oh, sorry, that wasn't Davis. That was Eliason. Eliason. What a great play there. Fake punt. And you got to expect it. You definitely got to expect it in that K in that situation as the Hawks are down by three scores and not very much time left to go. But now the Hawks on first down in Cougar territory. From the 30, and there's flags all over there uh, saying this one's against the Hawks, and it is. Five yard penalty there on the false start. The Hawks. Five yard penalty. The Hawks make a big play there on a fourth down punt fake. And a penalty to bring him back five. 
So first and 15. Now Stedman in the gun. He's got trips right. Trips right in Lemus, Davis, and Bowles. As Stedman will keep it, taking it to the left. A flag comes in. Stedman making a nice uh, spin there, and it's Tavita Kafusi with the tackle. Calfusi and Percival. Oh. So again, the Hawks with the holding penalty. Stedman making a nice uh, move with his feet there. But that one hurts. As uh, brings it clear back to the Cougar 48 yard line. On the Cougar 48. So this will be. First and 28. I had to take my shoes off to figure that one. The hands weren't doing it. So on first and 28. I just run it to Stedman. Stedman keeper. Going to go trips right again. Stedman. Takes the snap, fakes it, and he does. He's going to keep it left side. Bouncing. Finally brought down. He goes around the left side this time. He got to pick up eight. That'll be second and 20. Let's see, eight more yards each carry. Kavita Kafusi on the tackle. Kafusi again on the tackle there. Tafita playing both ways. As the Cougars have a tough time not using him defensively. He's mean, and then, of course, uh, and, uh, and then he's a uh, starting guard on offense. As Stedman drops back to throw, he'll roll right. He'll tuck it in. He's going to run again. It's Caden Heider that comes in and makes the hit. Stedman kept the ball, didn't find a receiver. Stedman picks right up side. five on that run play, or... Scramble play, I guess. But another, I believe it's another hold. We'll see it's, is it on the defense? Or the offense? Holding call against so North another Tampa. penalty, three penalties here against the, is it three? Did I count right? Three penalties against the Hawks. right in a row, pretty much. So another 10 yard penalty. 10 yard penalty. So this will be a repeat of second down, I believe, making it second and 25. Yeah. Second and 25. Hawks ready to go. Cougars ready to go. 2.34 left to go here in the third. Trips right. Stedman takes the snap. Rolls right. Now he's going to throw it back to the left side. Looked like it was a little bit of a screen pass meant for Eliason. That pass falls incomplete. And so now it will be third and 25. Well, uh... Ashley Regional Medical Center, named one of the top 100 rural hospitals in America by Becker's Review. They've got their new women's center. That'll be completed in next year. Stedman under center, drops back, throws. Nice pass to Lemus is complete. Pass complete. He's finally Lemus. brought down by Neverker and a, and a whole bunch of other Cougar tacklers there. Virtual Nebaker Braden. Savage Oscar. family founded the company in 1946 with a single Brings truck all in coal and timber in Utah. And today they are the leader in supply chain management solutions that are tailored to meet the needs of their customers across a variety of industries, including electric power generation, coal production, oil refining, railroad chemical, oil filled downhole services. And lots of other industries. Stedman under center, drops back to throw. He'll step up, throws. 
completed to Lemus, and Lemus has a first down on fourth down. The Hawks convert. And that's a first down. Labrum on the coverage, and so down by three touchdowns, they get into the red zone. It'll be first and 10 from the Cougar 17 yard line as the Hawks break huddle. Stickman and Sunbelt Rentals. They're proud sponsors of ETV6's live coverage of the Unibasin High School football. Covering all four high school football games as a nice pass from Stedman to Bowles. Touchdown for the Hawks. So Hawks are able to overcome so many different penalties on that, uh, on that drive to get a score here. They'll come in to kick the extra point. Rodriguez, Stedman to hold. Try and make it a two score game here with 107 left to go in the third. Rodriguez to kick. Yeah, there's the snap. Stedman gets it down. Kick is up. And the and kick no is good. no Short good. Enough. Didn't look like Short anyone got a hand on it. Rodriguez just not able to get underneath it and uh, put that one through. So our score will remain Cougars 35, North San Pete 20. We're back after this break. Hey, you. Me. With a drink and popcorn waiting for the movie. It's the moment you've waited all year for. The Corn Maze is open again in Bluebell. Your favorite fall activities in one place. There's a pumpkin patch, kettle corn, goats, pumpkin cannons, spooky trails. There's just too much to list. So go to www.bluebellcornmaze.com or look up Bluebell Corn Maze on Facebook. Head to the Corn Maze at Water Hollow Ranch located in Bluebell, where getting lost means finding fun. Well, welcome back as uh, the Hawks kick off to the Cougars. Another legal procedure there. Last time they kicked, I believe, the same thing. Uh, Union High School hosting the North St. Pete Hawks here in tonight's game. In the uh, This is a 3A first-round playoff game. The winner here will go on to play Juab at Juab next Friday. And that game will be at 4 p.m. 4 p.m., a, a nice start as it keeps things a little warmer. But... Uh, I don't know. There's something about playing underneath the lights. So Cougar offense will take the field on their own 35-yard line. After that illegal procedure, ball kicked out of bounds. Labram in the gun. He's got Miller lined up in the backfield with him. And dual receivers to both sides. These near side receivers is Rohr and Birchall. Far side, Hyder and Roberts. As he'll fake it, now Miller, Labram rolling, just trying to get rid of the ball intended for Hyder, incomplete. As uh, Blackham gave good chase to Labram. Labram, throwing across your body, that's a tough throw. But he does avoid the sack, but it'll be second and 10 now for the Cougars. Gonna go trips right. North San Pete looks like three down linemen. As Miller gets the handoff, he'll get a few. And now we'll see the line push forward just a little bit more. They'll mark this about five, about five yards there. So another five yard pickup for Miller. As he's found a lot of success running. And mainly because of this offensive line the Cougars have. Davida Kafusi playing both ways. Chase Lang, well, he's the uh, place kicker and also playing a lot of linebacker as Labram in the gun. Clausen 
Showing blitz, and it is. Gets it off to Birchill. Birchill makes a move on Lemus, and he's across the 40, the 30, 20. Lemus chasing him down. Touchdown, Cougars. Looked like uh, Lemus was gaining on him, but Birchill having a big enough lead there as he made the move that the Cougars score here. As Lang will come in to add an extra point. 41-20. Again, the Cougars looking to advance here in the first round of the playoffs to play Juab. But they've had a lot of experience against Juab. And none of them good, I would say. As they haven't uh, beat Juab in a long time. Lang gets this one. And the Cougars up 42-20. We're out back after this break. MKJ Construction has been serving Central Utah and the surrounding area for over 30 years. Whether you have a project as large as a new road or water line or as intricate as a decorative landscape feature, we have the experience and equipment to complete any size project. We also deliver sand, gravel, road base, topsoil, and landscaping boulders. Call MKJ Construction at 427-9299, 427-9299, and see what we can do for you. Terry R. Brotherson Excavating and TRB Rock Products offers aggregate products for any of your road construction needs, including road base and a selection of crushed rock products. TRB Rock Products also has landscaping products, topsoil, reject sand, and an eye-catching red landscaping rock. They also do commercial and residential construction, basements, water lines, sewer lines, septic tanks, and perk tests. Get a free estimate at 462-3954. TRB Rock Products, a proud supporter of North Sanpete Athletics. I'm Mark Winterton, and welcome to Union High School as the Cougars finish out the third quarter here. 11 seconds will kick to the Hawks. Hawks back to receive our score here. Cougars 42, Hawks 20. As Miller, Jerem Miller to kick. A deep kick. And they're going to give it to Amai Eliason coming out. Across the 20. And that is Kobe Gurr, along with Barnes in on the tackle. Kobe Gurr, he's a sophomore, just a sophomore. You might remember his brother. They called him Panda, old Jordan Gurr. I actually saw him this last weekend. He's uh, coaching up at Logan High School. He's the uh, defensive line coach for the varsity squad there. Jordan Gurr, Mr. Panda Man. In fact, I'm the one that uh, convinced Jordan to go up to Utah State up in Logan. Said, try it out. And now Kobe will be playing his uh, offensive line as they come out with a three-man front. Hyder blitzing Stedman. Stedman, does he get away? He, oh, he's going to slide. Quarterback. As that'll end the third, the Cougars get Stedman for a big loss. And uh, so after three, it's Cougars on top, 42 to 20. We're back after the break to start the fourth and final quarter. Your Union Cougars are 42. Experiencing pain or a serious condition with your feet? If so, trust an expert podiatrist with next generation training. At Elite Ankle and Foot in Mount Pleasant and Gunnison, Dr. Tyler Jolly specializes in a wide variety of foot and ankle conditions involving patients from infancy through geriatrics. Dr. Jolly is board certified with the American Board of Podiatric Medicine and studied with an emphasis in sports medicine, reconstructive surgery, and trauma. Call Elite Ankle and Foot at 462 Foot. That's 462 Foot or online at EliteAnkleAndFoot.com. State Farm Insurance and Financial Services is your best choice for dependable insurance coverage and finance options. Local agent Danny Dykes in Moroni offers all types of insurance as well as State Farm Financial Services where you're able to finance your dreams through State Farm Bank. State Farm also offers the Pocket Agent app for smartphones and the new Drive Safe and Save discount. Visit your local State Farm Insurance and Financial Services office in Moroni. Phone 800-347-8601. That's 800-347-8601. Well, the Union High School Cougars are taking on the North Sam Pete Hawks in this first round playoff game and an exciting one. Cougars on top 42-20 as Hawks have been fighting back here in the second half. Uh, Stedman making big plays, but uh, that last play, if you saw it, Stedman getting blitzed by Cougar. 
linebackers. In fact, namely number 16 and 17 there, Rohr and uh, and Hyder. As Stedman will roll right, and he's got Hyder blitzing again. Rohr, or Stedman going downfield. He's got a man. Yep, nice catch high. made by man, Allred. A senior receiver for the Hawks. And so they get a big chunk back, making it only third and seven now. Kobe Durr in, uh, Kobe Durr out, and Lisa Sitchkill are out. And so the Hawks getting it up to the Cougar, about 27-yard line it looks. Looks to be somewhere there. Stedman in the gun. Two receivers out wide to his left as he'll roll left. Chased by Hyder. And Allred making the catch for the first down. So the Hawks will continue to move the ball. Stedman doing a lot with his feet. And uh, the rest with his arm. That's two completed passes there to Allred in a row. Resulting in a first, they get it out to the their own 36-yard line. So from their 36-yard line, they're going to go trips right. Eliason lined up in the backfield with him. He fakes it to him. Now blocking. Stedman wants to run, but he's not got any yards. Blocking uh, fails him there. And the Cougars get him for a loss. And number 75, Chase Lane. That's the thing about Stedman, though. He's, he can be so deadly, and then uh, the Cougars will get him on something like this, but he'll just come right back. So Stedman will come out in the gun. So in on second down, second at about 17. We'll see what he can do with his feet and his arm here as he drops back. He's going to go deep. No, he's going to go little swing pattern, Justice incomplete. It looks like it just went through the hands of Justison. On the coverage, number 16, Colby Hyder. So now it'll be third and 17. Coming into tonight's game, Colby Hyder had 58 tackles, four sacks, and one pass interception. So Colby Hyder getting in there and pressure instead, but he's the leading tackler he's for the Cougars. As now you and see him there at middle linebacker. He plays a lot of outside. And Stedman will roll right. He's blitzed. He throws this one up. And it's almost caught. Bowles bouncing it off his chest there. Cougars making a hit. Bowles shaking up just a little bit. And that'll bring up fourth and long. And the Hawks will be forced to punt. Forced to punt. At the same time, here in the fourth quarter, down by three touchdowns, three scores. We got Rodriguez back there to punt. You always, you always got to watch for that punt fake. Rodriguez will kick this one all way. End over end. Landon by Berlin. He gets away from it as it goes out of bounds. As Parrish was there. Down by number 10, Parrish on the coverage. So the Cougars will take over on their own 35 yard line as the offense takes the field. Hawks defense comes in. A yeah, big game. thanks to again all of our sponsors. Stickman, Sunbelt Rentals. As, uh, Sunbelt uh, provides the, the lifts a great for our time. camera crew and for the Cougar camera crew as they've got a camera in the end zone. Weekend. Go L&L Motors, Strata Networks, Ashley Regional Medical Center, Moon Lake Electric, and Savage Services. All making it possible for us to bring you live coverage of high school sports. Again, tonight, you make sure you tune in to Altamont, taking on Rich at home. Duchesne taking on Leighton Christian, and Uena taking on Salem Hills. Labrum. Quick throw to Hyder, and Hyder drops that one. Pass intended for Caden Hyder, incomplete. Little short, but uh, that's one of those, just got to get underneath it. Ethan Bowles on the coverage. Of course, at the same time, you got defenders right in your face, and you're thinking about the, the turn and run. 
So it'll be second and 10 now for the Cougars as they wait for the play to come in. Coach Ziff, I believe, sending the plays in there, and I love his little getup. You know how nowadays, or uh, it's actually that time of the season, is a Miller takes this one up the middle, getting big yardage. He's got a first down. Back up the middle, Jim. But it's that time of the season when you're going to see all these deer hunters. They got that same strap, but it's hooked to monoculars. Zips hooked to his laptop. Can we see him right there? Yep, there it is. The strap there. He can, he can use his hands. He's got the laptop right there. It's great. It's, it's, uh, it's deer hunt time. Heading to the book cliffs, I'm sure. Lots of base nights as uh, give to Miller again. Miller gonna push Daniel forward, he'll get four. And we're gonna show Zip here. There's Zip. I don't even know if I say his last name right, but those are that's a sweet. I want one of those for my laptop. In fact, I know a lot of kids actually who would love something like that for their iPad. Because then they can eat. I mean, they don't even have to hold still. Second. Second and seven. Labrum in the gun. Two receivers to both sides. And he'll give to uh, Miller again. Miller is only going to pick up a one or two as the Hawks defense swarms the ball. I'll give him one. So it'll be third and six now for the and Cougars. On the tackle. Clock continues to run, and the Cougars just wanted to run the ball here and let the clock the run as, it, as much as possible. Up 42 to 20. Try to keep that lead and uh, just let the clock run out. And so again, Cougars with same formation. They'll fake it to Miller, and now Labrum's going to roll right. He goes downfield, short, thrown under, or just, what am I trying to say? Low, there we go. That's what I'm trying to say. The <laughs> high, low, it's easy. Ball intended for Hyder, but the, th but the uh, pass thrown low, incomplete. There is a flag. It's going to be against the Cougars. Ineligible receiver Ineligible downfield, receiver downfield and the, uh, the Hawks will decline that, making it fourth and sixth. The Cougars. the Cougars will bring out their punt team. But that incomplete pass also stopped the clock. Down by three scores, the Hawks will get the ball back here as Chase will punt it away to Lemus. And I hope I'm saying that right, correct. I hope I'm saying that correct for all you Hawks fans as Lang awaits the snap. Again, end over end, Lemus is gonna stay away from it. Now he's gonna pick it up, bounce off his helmet. He does keep it. Mason Eltridge was the first Lemus defender there. Moves forward just a bit. I think a he's going to get to the 20. They're going to mark this right about the 20 yard line. Number 37 on the tackle. Well, that's a scary game. one when the ball comes into your hands, bounces off your helmet. Because once it hits the helmet and goes over the top, you don't know where it is. He gets a hold of it though, and, and the Hawks' offense first will take the field on their own, or on the, uh, yeah, on their own 15. Where did I say it was? I don't know what I said, 15. The lethal Stedman under center. He'll drop back to throw. And now he goes downfield. Lemus through his hands. Again, that's one you're anticipating the catch and run afterwards. Kobe Hyder on the coverage. Incomplete pass, and so it'll be second down now for North Sam P. Moon Lake Electric, they've been in operation since 1938, owned by the people they serve. They're cooperative, not privately owned, and you can find them and like them on Facebook. Facebook. 
Stedman will go in the gun. Eliasson lined up in the backfield with him. He's got trips left. Takes the snap, and he's going to run it. Left side there. Stedman keeps the ball. Trying to see the tacklers there on the Cougars. First one there was Bullethead. Stopped by number 50, hit for 59, Nolan Bullethead. Nolan Bullethead. Just a junior. Third and 10. One of those wrestlers. So now we'll bring up third down, third and 10. As Stedman doesn't get any yardage on that one. Again in the gun with Eliason. Dual receivers to both sides. Takes a snap. He'll drop back to throw. He's going to go downfield. Intended. That was intended for all red, but it bounces up and high. Gage Roberts picking it off. And the Cougars. Getting another, causing another turnover. Gage Roberts, again, your uh, athlete of the week. And boy, making a big interception there. And the Cougars will take over on the Hawk 40-yard line. l l Motor, they're the number one rated new car dealer in the basin. You can visit their new Buick GMC full-service store in Bernal. l l Motor, a proud sponsor of VTV, live coverage of your high school sports here in the basin. Labrum with trips left, he'll roll left. Now he's going to tuck it and run. And he'll pick up maybe one. Labrum jukes and weaves. There is a flag thrown in there on the far side. You can see that. Justison and also Tyler Blackham. Thrown about the 46-yard uh, line. My guess was holding. Oh, it's a block in the back. All right. So that'll be a Cougar penalty. That's going to be from the spot of the foul. Repeat first down. So it'll be first and 26. Also, Strata Networks. Hey, they are proud to help bring you live coverage of local sports. You can enjoy reliable coverage and unbeatable speeds from the company that brings you more local cell sites than any other carrier. Nationwide 4G LTE coverage and their gig coverage. Call uh, contact stratanetworks.com to find out if gig coverage is available for you. First and 26. In the gun. With a uh, tight trips left. Labram will keep it himself. Great blocking there. As he'll pick up about 12, 13 yards. So that'll make it a second and long, but not as long. It's 26, second and 12 here for the Cougars. Pick up a 13 yards on the run. As the Cougars will await the call here. Under seven minutes to play. And the Cougars still up by three scores after that interception by Gage Roberts off the deflection when it uh, deflected there off of all red. Labrum will drop back to throw. He's pressured by Davis, he releases. Complete to Birchall, and Birchall with a first down. Davis making a great attempt to try and get a hold of Labram in the backfield on that blitz. Labram avoids him, and then the throw to Birchall on the run. That takes a little bit of skill. Just a little bit. I'm sure I couldn't do it. But I think Tyler could. Back in the day, maybe, Tyler. It's first down for the Cougars. They're down to the 26. If, if you guys remember Tyler Rasmus from, from the 1996, it was, he was a 95, no, sorry, 95. 94-95 team, huh? The, the Union Cougar 94-95 team. Back then, they were playing leather helmets then? Yeah, yeah, that, that long ago. They just had the one bar, I know. I'm not sure they were leather. But it was just the one bar, like punter helmets, right? <laughs> well, that play giving uh, the Cougars a yard here. Dual receivers to both sides again here as uh, 
Labram in the gun. He'll fake it to Miller, and then he just gets Labram. sacked. As a whole slew of uh, your Hawks come flying in. Eliason with the tackle, but also is trying to assist there. I don't know if they got there. Eliason got to him, but also Peyton Clawson. And uh, I think that was Davis, Eddie Davis. So again, Peyton Clawson, just a sophomore for the Hawks, but all over the field playing both ways. Just wait a couple years as a senior, man. He'll be flying all over the place. Cougars going to go with five receivers here on third and long, third and 15. You got trips to the left side, dual receivers to the right side in Chase Berlin and Gage Roberts, and the ball will be whistled. That de delay, of game. delay a game on the Cougars. Is uh, so another five-yard penalty? What's five more? Five yards. Third and 20. So on third and 20 here, the first down is right at the 16-yard line. Cougars here at the 36. And so they'll still go with the same formation. Three down linemen for the Hawks. And showing blitz by a backer or two. No, they're just going to bring three. And Labram's going to go deep. The ball. To ball intent or uh, to thrown to Roberts, but uh, Stedman on coverage, Stedman on the coverage there, the knocks the ball away. Oh, so nice coverage there by Stedman. And so it'll be fourth and a whole bunch. Cougars are going to come in to pump this ball, try and pin the Hawks deep in their own. In their own field here. So laying it about midfield to punt this. We'll see him punt it towards the corner. He does. A nice spiral. It's going to land about the five. Is this one going to bounce in? Oh, and it does. Langston done actually really well pinning uh, teams inside the 10 all year Hawks long with that one. Going to go in the end zone. So the Hawks will take over on their own 20. Not this Not deep in their own territory, but I guess deep enough. Cougar snapper, defense will come out. Snapper. And Hawks, Stedman will lead his uh, Hawk offense on here to see what they can do. With just four minutes left to go in the game, down the by point. three scores. Extra, extra points. He'll have to work fast. Hardy. My hats off, buddy. My hats Ashley off. Regional Mel Medical Center. They are looking forward to the completion of their new women's center. That's in uh, going to be next year. They're the only joint commission accredited hospital in the basin. Stedman under center. Cougar defender jumping there, but not crossing the line of scrimmage. And they're going to give to Eliason, who will bowl forward for about seven. A handoff up the middle to number 44, Langschwager. And Moon Lake Electric, they've been providing power to the area since 1938. You can find them, like them on Facebook. Yeah, Stedman on second and about four gives again to Eliason. Eliason making some nice hits up the middle there. Breaking tackles, and he'll get the first. As the Cougars will... Sub out their defensive line for a fresh number 38, fresh Elias crew. The ball carrier. In Evan Percival, Tavita Kafusi, Brig Edwards, and Loney Latui. First down, first and 10 for the Hawks. Stedman under center, trips left, Eliason in the backfield. With three minutes left to go, Stedman will give to Eliason again, this time going to the right side. So at this point, it looks there. like North St. Pete is wanting to just keep the ball. They're not worried about uh, necessarily clock. They're trying to keep the ball. They're trying to get down and score to at least, I guess, end the season on a score, and that's always a plus, you know. At this point, you're down by three scores with, with just a little over two minutes left to go, and it's a loss is inevitable, but if you can at least score and end the season... On a positive note, as Stedman rolls left, he completes the pass to Lemus. Pass 
Sorry, that one's to Allred. Mason Allred. And uh, puts, he's pushed out of bounds. We'll stop the clock there at 2.30 and a first down for the Hawks. So they'll continue to move the ball and now into Cougar territory. Well, Stickman and Sunbelt Reynolds, they are proud to be sponsors of VTV6's live coverage, Unibasin High School football. Stickman, they do their charity golf tournament every year. And Sunbelt Reynolds, they provide their uh, lifts for us here for our camera crew and for the coaches crew as we get flags right off the bat here. <coughs> That'll be a false start against the Hawks. A little. Oh, no, that's a, uh, is that too many men on the field? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> but it's against the Cougars. So too many too men, too many on, men the on the field. <laughs> so remember, you, you, when you sub in two, you need to take out five, two. So the five yard penalty there now against the Cougars and the Hawks first and five from the Cougar 40. Stedman in the gun. Elias and also lined up in the back with him as he's got trips right. Now give it to Eliason. Eliason, the initial blocking there on the offensive line gave him a couple. Then he was met by some Cougar defenders. So he'll get a couple. It'll be second and three. Second and three. Eliason with the carry. Royer on the stop with a host of Cougars. Second and two. Yeah, the last time they met, the uh, Cougars barely beating North Sam Pete, 27 to 21. Second and three. Where actually it was in the final quarter that the Cougars made the comeback with uh, scoring 15 to uh, North Sam Pete's six in the final quarter to win the game. As here, Stedman, nice throw to Bowles and a nice completed pass by Bowles. He holds on to it after Labram hits him. In that sense, I'm not sure you can drop it as uh, the, the ball's in your gut and so is the defender's shoulder pads. You're forced to hold on to the ball. So the Hawks continue to move as they get to the Cougars 30 yard line. First down, Stedman. Not doing a whole lot with his feet on this drive. He's done more with his arm and Eliason's feet. As now he will drop back, throw. Ball intended for Allred, it's thrown short. So it'll make it second and not 10. The Savage family has founded the company 1946 with a single truck hauling coal and timber. Well, they've uh, branched out to doing lots of different stuff, a variety of industries, including electric power generation, coal production, oil refining, railroad chemical, oil filled downhole services, and other industries. That's Savage Services, a proud sponsor of Unibasin High School Sports. Well, it's, uh, what time, 6.33? We've got some, we got some, uh, three more games coming up. So you're not going to go anywhere. You're going to want to stay right here on VTV as uh, Duchesne playing home to Leighton Christian. As Stedman drops back, pump fake. Now he throws on the run. That's Lemus. Stedman, pump fake. Incomplete. Throws. Altamont will be home to Lemus. Rich and Uenta taking on Bradley. Salem Hills in their last game of the season. Duchesne and Altamont looking to go to the playoffs. As Duchesne has been undefeated in region play. Third and 10 now here for Stedman. Trying to get one last score here before the end of the game with 57 seconds left. Cougars going to be playing next Friday. Stedman going to bomb this one out. And the flag will come in as uh, Hyder right in his face. That is uh, Kai McHell that the pass was intended for, but that one will be on 
And Nolan Ball had 59. Kate Allred, number 61. Uh, Caden Hyder there for the pass interference in call. Line. So that'll be an automatic first mm -hmm. down for the Hawks. The officiating crew meeting, making sure they get this call right. There's the uh, pass interference call. Oh, and there's also a holding. And so it will offsetting penalties. That'll bring up fourth down. Offsetting penalties. That hurts. Okay, we got offsetting penalties holding against North San Pete. Uh, oh, I remember being in the uh, huddle and, and they'd call the holding call and you're like, what are you doing? What are you holding for? He was going to get past me. Actually, the funniest hold call was uh, our center, and and I was actually blocking the guy, and he had a hold of his ankle for some reason. I'm, what are you doing on the ground? But here's Stedman on. Oh, and just dropped by Mason Allred right in his hands. A great thrown ball there by Allred, and they did, they did. so that was third down. Sorry, excuse me, that was third down. Offsetting penalties. Third down, I don't remember. Anyways, it'll bring up fourth now. Carter Winterton on the coverage there. Stedman throwing a nice ball too there. Under center, quick pass to Davis and Davis will drop it on fourth. And that is gonna do it. I imagine the Cougars will down it. Just down the ball here as they'll take over on, uh, turnover on downs. We've got our uh, player of the game is going to be coming up here in just a bit. We're going to go to a quick break, and we'll be back as the Cougars will finish this one up. The mayor, city council, and residents in the cities of Mount Pleasant, Fairview, and Moroni wish the North Sampede Hawks the best of luck this season. The entire community is proud to support North Sampede High School in preparing the future leaders of Sampede County. They're committed to ensuring that area youth are provided the best opportunities to learn the important lessons of life through academics and athletic competition. Good luck to the players, coaches, faculty, staff, and student body from the cities of Fairview, Moroni, and Mount Pleasant. Some of the most important diagnostic tools in medicine today are in the radiology department. At Ashley Regional Medical Center, there are many modalities to choose from. CAT scans, nuclear medicine, MRI, 4D ultrasound, digital mammography, bone density scanning, and a totally digital format. The technicians at Ashley Regional are highly trained and are well known for their great customer service skills. If you need an x-ray of any kind, ask your physician to send you to Ashley Regional Medical Center for Mark quality Winterton results. And it is a Union High School football getting the win here over the North Sam Pete Hawks as uh, the Cougars just kneeling it as that'll send us out. Cougars getting the win 42 to 20 in tonight's game as uh, the Cougars will go on to play Juab. Juab Wasps in Nephi. That's going to be next Friday. The game will be at 4 p.m. You'll actually be able to hear that game on uh, KNU 1250. But... Uh, Cougars playing phenomenal tonight against the Hawks uh, as they played. You know, it's it's tough playing a game against a team that you've played earlier in the year because that team definitely knowing what you do, knowing what they need to improve on to beat you this time. But the Cougars getting the win, and uh, we actually have a maze, a uh, corn maze, the maze at uh, Water Hollow Ranch. Player of the game, we're giving that one to Chase Burchill for huge. Huge plays on defense. He had some nice plays on offense, um, some nice nice catches. And so with that, it'll be Chase Burchill. He's all over the place. He, he's our kick, he plays uh, Cougar, or he's the Union kick returner, also punt returner. But also, I'd say he, always, he made some huge stops on defense for the Cougars. And so again, Chase Burchill, our maze at Water Hollow Ranch, player of the game. Thanks for listening tonight. And uh, again, don't go anywhere. It's uh, it is it is high school football night on Wednesday, so uh, those games starting here coming up in 20 minutes. Altamont at home taking on Rich High School. Uh, Duchesne at home taking on Leighton Christian. Right? Yes. I had to think about it for a second. 
and then uh, and then also Uinta High School is home and playing their last game of the season against Salem Hills. So tune in, watch those games, and thanks for listening. Mark Winterton right here on VTV, channel6.com. I'm out of here. Have a good night.